This is Sand, an open-world PvPVE extraction game developed by the Ukrainian team Holograph and published by Tiny Build. Earlier this year, we revealed the very first gameplay footage with all of you, and today we're excited to dive into one of the game's most talked about features, the Tramplers. In Sand, Tramplers are your means of traversal, your strongest defense, and your most formidable weapon. So it's imperative that you ensure that your Trampler is up for the task before it's deployed on Sophie. This is a hostile plan, and your Trampler could be the difference between life and death. Before leaving for an expedition, you'll have the option of either using a pre-built Trampler or designing your own using the Trampler editor. Today we're going to build our Trampler from the ground up. While you're going to have multiple options in what size you'd like your Trampler to be, here we've gone with a medium sized frame, which is perfect for a small to medium sized team. We'll be doing a solo run today anyway, so we're going to have plenty of space. Always make sure you add an engine, a crew room relative to the size of your team, a steering room so that you can actually control your Trampler, a storage room for your loot, and enough mounted weapons to fend off any unwanted attacks. You're going to be spending a lot of time on the upper decks, especially if you find yourself engaged with other tramplers, so it's important that we create some platforms up here and choose our turrets wisely. We're going to add an auto turret, a standard cannon and a shotgun cannon to this one. Always remember to add doors, otherwise you're going to find yourself on the losing end of raids more often than not, which is a mistake we've made a few too many times ourselves. We're also going to throw up a small tower, which is going to make a valuable vantage point for a sniper, or help us survey the surrounding area to avoid any ambushes. However, the larger the trampler and the more compartments and modules you add will have an impact on the maneuverability and speed of your trampler, so try and keep that in mind. Luckily, this is displayed in the top right corner of the editor. With that done, how about we head down to the planet and take this out for a spin? We've already got some loot on board that we can use to complete a contract, and the delivery point is nearby. Going to use this opportunity to make sure the coast is clear, and it looks like we're good. And just like that, we've completed our first contract. In return for completing the contract, we received ammo for our shotgun turret, which I think will probably come in handy for us later. And by later we mean right now. Looks like we've got some company. Look, we didn't go through the effort of building this trampler just to retreat at the first sign of trouble, so we're taking the fight to them. There's that shotgun turret ammo coming in handy already. And they've taken out one of our turrets. Not to worry though, we can get that thing fixed in no time. Of course I can fix this myself, but I could really have used some crewmates right around now. As the old saying goes, an eye for an eye, 
and a turret for a trampler. I think we're even. So overall, a pretty successful mission. Thank you everyone for watching. Sign up for the sand play test on Steam now, and we're looking forward to seeing you all in there.